Hey everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the new custom functions that not just work on Windows but also on Mac OS and Excel on the web. And uh, so today I'm just going to stick to Mac OS and Excel on the web because these are new platforms. We've had uh, user defined function support on Windows for quite some time now. But um, you will start to go by going to the Excellence Office JS Quick Start repository on GitHub. I will leave a link below in the description. You will obviously also find the link on the Excel Wings documentation about custom functions. Now, uh, what I will assume is that you have followed the instructions on here, which means you download the source code, uh, you generate local certificates for development and you know, uh, get your Excellence Pro license key here. Um, that's pretty much it. And so um, basically what we have, what we're left to do is just like start the web server here. And then also what you'll have to do is um, insert that uh, manifest, which loads the Office JS add-in in your Excel instance. I've already done that. So um, you will have this quick start uh, tab over here. Anyhow, like to use uh, the custom functions, that's pretty much um, all we need to do. So um, as you can see here, we are just going to open that custom functions.py file. And then um, that's the only one uh, we really need to be concerned with uh, when, when it comes to custom functions. So uh, once everything is done as described in the quick start, um, uh, steps there, instructions, I can just start and, you know, use my function over here in Excel. And as you can see, the request is coming here um, on our backend. And um, I can just use these functions and have Excel uh, use the Python definition here that we have on that end. Um, you could already see that when I recalculate the sheet, so let's do that one more time, um, it shows you a busy indication. So that's a, um, you know, a difference to how the uh, user defined functions worked on, on, on Windows in that uh, this is asynchronous. So like while they are uh, running, you can continue to use Excel. And whenever that function is done calculating in Python, um, it'll come back and show you the result. Now, uh, when you want to change uh, the, the function body, you simply have to do so then, you know, recalculate the sheet and you can see that you instantly get the update reflected. And so that's pretty much the same how it works here on Office for the web. So really you just go in here, you call the function and it returns the way that you've seen it working on the desktop version of Excel. So that's uh, pretty cool. Um, it works anywhere. So that means like since the Python process eventually will be running on a server um, and Excel running in a browser, you can give it to anybody. Uh, they don't have to have Python installed locally and also they don't even need Excel installed locally. Uh, this by the way is also supported on Office com meaning the free version of the office suite that you can access online but let's now switch back to the desktop version and um, let's have another look at, at you know some of the new features that uh, Excel wings gives you with these new custom functions so for instance um, if we were looking at this function here uh, we can use namespaces which means we can use a standard um, compliant name in Python for the function and then just have it show up under the uh, NumPy namespace. So as you can see, the namespace is going to be prepended to the function name separated by a dot. And that gives us the option here to call the function in Excel and easily group related functions together. Um, you can also see that uh, without doing anything here on the Python side, I can just give back a you know, two two dimensional array, whether that's a, a, a nested list or an NumPy array, or as we shall see in a second, a pandas data frame, uh, they are going to be treated as a uh, dynamic dynamic array, a native dynamic array here in Excel. So there is nothing you need to do about that. Um, you can also tell that um, if I 
call this function again that the function arguments um, you know are being presented here using IntelliSense so that again is a feature that wasn't available on the traditional implementation on Windows so that's pretty cool there's no change for doing that either um, what you can enhance also is adding these uh, function doc strings and also the argument doc strings and they then will um, show up over here if you go to the formula builder uh, if we look for the function again here on standard normal uh, you will get those um, argument descriptions down here and the function doc string over there so that uh, gives you a pretty good pretty good um, tool set to to uh, like a self for self-documenting function um, then if we scroll down a little bit, um, here is an example for, for, for pandas functionality. Uh, one of my favorite samples here because um, you can use, basically you can have a, a coral function that works on, on a full matrix and gives you back the correlation here with a minimal effort on, on the Python side because that's available in, in pandas. Um, the built-in coral function here in Excel uh, would require you to basically run that function for each uh, pair of data set, which is a bit awkward. So that's a, a, a very easy way to, to deal with pandas functions here. Um, another addition or another new feature that these uh, Office JS based custom new custom functions offer you is, is working with date time. So like if you have, let's say, a start date and an end date, um, then you could been, then call the uh, a random time series generated based on, on these dates. And uh, what you will get back is uh, a, a pre-formatted date over here, which is also not something that was available on the Windows version of it. All right, so uh, pretty much that's that's it for, for today, what I wanted to show you. Um, there's probably gonna be more videos I'm, I'm going to produce. Uh, one is definitely going to be how you um, set up the whole uh, development environment, basically the, the steps I jumped over today. Uh, Either way, they shouldn't be hard to follow if you if you go through the README. Um, and then I'll definitely also show you in a different video how you can deploy the backend here to, to you know, a hosted service, uh, things like on uh, services on Azure or, or any of the other cloud providers um, so that you can open up and use these functions from anywhere um, you know where you have that, uh, where you want to open up this Excel workbook. All right, thanks so much for, for watching and um, see you in the next tutorial.